Hey guys, Rory here from Your Golf Travel. So, as you all know, we've been taking a close look at the amazing Algarve region in Portugal recently. And while I'm on filming trips, I do try my best to obviously show you little bits and pieces, little snippets from the action throughout the day, not only from the golf course, but in terms of the odd travel logistic and a bit of the accommodation and things like that that we're getting up to away from the golf course as well. Unfortunately, on some trips, when the schedule is just a little bit too busy, I'm kind of up at the crack of dawn, Playing golf on the golf course, obviously that's the primary concern on these trips to show you what is available out there in terms of golf. Unfortunately, like I said, from the crack of dawn until we're filming on the course, until the sun goes down, then you eat dinner and it's kind of like, right, it's time to go to bed. Um, it's quite difficult to show you guys some stuff away from the golf course. That being said, while I was in the Algarve, I did film a little bit of off course content, uh, mainly around some of the hotels I was staying in. So I'm gonna try and kind of creatively stitch some of that together with some on-course action as well to give you guys some sort of idea as to where you should be staying, depending on which region of the Algarve you're heading to and where you should be staying subject to which golf courses you're looking to play. Because it's a comment I get quite a lot in the comment section on the YouTube channel, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and on my social media as well. And like I said, there are plenty of videos on the Your Golf Travel YouTube channel which do show uh, the accommodation that we stay in and the things that we get up to away from the golf course. So make sure you subscribe, as I said, if you haven't seen all that kind of stuff already. But yeah, here is a closer look at some of the places I stayed on my recent visit to the Algarve. <laughs> So as some of you will know, I started out in the central Algarve, flew into Faro and headed straight to the Quinta Lago Resort where I stayed at the Monte de Quinta Suites. That's got a brand new name, so don't be searching for that on the internet. The new name is popping up on screen now. But I also stayed at this hotel when I was back in the Algarve a few months ago filming the Nick Doherty Wildcard Challenge and some of the Captain's Trophy, which is a corporate event hosted by Your Golf Travel with Paul McGinley and various other celebrities in attendance. And I have to say, I love the place. Um, it's like a one minute drive from the hotel down to the central hub of the resort, which is where you'll get access to the north and the south course. The Laranjal course is a little bit further away. But as you can see there, they've got three world-class golf courses within a very, very short drive of the formerly known Monte de Quinta Suites. So the convenience box is ticked right away in terms of rolling out of bed and heading down to the golf course. No need for any kind of just the, oh, imagine having to do a 10 minute drive to a golf course. Oh, no thanks, I'll keep it down to about 60 seconds, please. The luxury box is ticked as well. Um, you kind of have your own apartment for the duration of your stay. Absolutely massive setup, huge living room, little kitchenette, so you can do your own food if required. You can get room service, I've done that a lot. The restaurant's fantastic, the facilities are great. Massive, massive bedroom. French sliding doors that open out into a little patio and a little garden area in every single apartment. So yeah, suffice to say, mega levels of comfort, luxury, great facilities, lovely setup. Shall I have a look around? Firstly, the accommodation options around Quinta de Lago, which is quite a big community slash resort, are absolutely fantastic. We basically send most of our clients to either the Magnolia Hotel or the Monte de Quinta Hotel, which I've now stayed at twice. I was actually here about two or three weeks ago for the Captain's Trophy with Paul McGinley and Nick Doherty. And I can personally vouch that this place is absolutely fantastic. Five star. Amazing facilities, the food is brilliant. The rooms are huge, basically like small apartments. Even though it's fantastic now, it's gonna go through a complete renovation in the next year or so. And I saw the plans last night when I met up with some of the staff members here, and judging by the sketches and the concepts, this place is gonna be absolutely wicked. As I said, 
pretty easy access to the Quinta de Lago golf courses. Uh, sitting pretty-ish on 11 points through the first six, having teed off from the 10th early this morning. Um, on the par 4 16th here, which is arguably the signature hole on the golf course, the 15th and 14th are both spectacular as well. So heading into the latter stages of the back nine and then into the front nine, showing you guys as closely as possible what it's like to come out to the Algarve and play golf here at Quinta Lago on the south course. 100 yards. Yeah, just on the left fringe. Right, learning from my mistakes a few holes back. Went for a bit more of a punchy one. Make sure I'm not messing with those overhanging umbrella pines. Just caught the left fringe on the green, so should be putting from guessing about 30 feet. Um, no shot here, striking next 14. But yeah, you'll see in a minute why this is arguably the signature hole of the course. So I'm just approaching the green now, and well, just bear with me two seconds. Head cover. This is what you come to the Algarve for. Sunny skies. A couple of clouds up there actually, I might have to complain about that. Gleaming white bunkers, perfect greens. It has to be said, the conditioning of the greens here at Quinta Lago in the middle of November is absolutely fantastic so far. As I said, I've just punched out from those trees up there ran out to the left fringe here but that's all kind of secondary when you got the rear Formosa and this beautiful still water lurking in the background I'd imagine later on this evening there'll be some party tunes playing beer flowing people getting on the old super bock but yeah yes please I was about to say it's an absolute pleasure to be putting on greens that are this pure and they're not overly fast either so just really good top quality kind of holiday golf greens I was about to say that that was a pretty clumsy three putt so maybe I'll touch on the greens in a couple of holes when I'm a little less depressed so if you want to branch out and play more golf than just the Quinta de Lago golf courses, the likes of San Lorenzo and Val de Lobo are between 5 and 15 minute drive from the resort. So while I was joking about having to do a 10 minute drive earlier in the video, obviously 5 to 15 minutes to get to the nearest golf courses apart from the Quinta de Lago ones is absolutely no hassle whatsoever. You can also get to Villa Mora, which obviously is a famous resort in the Algarve. Um, we have access to loads of like Don Pedro courses, the Victoria course, the old course, etc, etc. So while you could access those golf courses while you're staying at this hotel, there are other conveni more convenient accommodation options which will give you even more easy access. And that brings me on to my second hotel of my Algarve golf tour. So this is a bit of a funny one. Regrettably, I don't have any footage of the Lake Resort, which is the second hotel I stayed at. And basically this is kind of a bit of evidence as to what I was talking about earlier in the video in terms of sometimes the filming schedule just being too hectic to actually bring you guys much of this footage. Uh, I think I arrived at the Lake Resort at about 9pm, so the sun had long gone down. Um, kind of cleared memory cards, charged batteries, had a shower, grabbed some dinner, hit the sack and I was up and gone because um, I was heading to the East Algarve the day after that, which is about a 45 minute drive from Central Algarve. So I was up and gone by about 5am, so <laughs> the entire time I was at the Lake Resort, I was obviously getting prepared for the next day and it was pitch black. So not much I could have shown you in terms of the exterior of the hotel or um, any of the facilities or anything like that because 
it was all kind of on lockdown when I got there. Regardless of my travel woes, <laughs> um, the lake resort is within walking distance of the Villa Mora Marina, which is a great spot for bars, restaurants, nightlife, etc, etc. I think you can literally walk from the lake resort down there in about five or seven minutes. So no hardship at all. What else does the Lake Resort have? Well, kind of all the facilities and amenities of a five-star luxury hotel that you guys would expect. Spa, outdoor pool, indoor pool, tennis courts, it even has its own kind of little artificial beach. So if you can't be bothered to do the mammoth, mammoth 12-minute walk to the local real beach, which is absolutely stunning, um, you can kind of just make do with that. said when it comes to golf courses obviously again you can kind of do the drive back to Cantalago if you want to tick those courses off uh, while you're staying in and around the Villa Mora Marina so that's a bit of a different element to that trip as well but like I said two courses at Valdolobo, San Lorenzo, the Don Pedro collection which is kind of like Millennium, Laguna, Old, Victoria loads and loads of options within easy reach of this hotel um, I guess the biggest difference between here and a place like Cantalago would be that here having a rental car would be of more a priority because Quintalago you can kind of get by without the rental car you can do transfers to and from the resort and then do a lot of the resort by foot basically um, whereas here you're obviously in the Villa Mora resort you're gonna need to be on foot to get down to the marina but to get to the golf courses unless you want to pay for transfers which is always an option as well slightly more expensive then a rental car is probably a little bit more important here and as I said, after departing the lake resort at the crack of dawn, I did a 45 minute drive to the East Algarve. I did a video on the East Algarve region about a week ago, maybe less. So check that out if you want to find out more about this region. Um, and I visited a place that I'd wanted to visit kind of ever since I joined YGT. You guys have been waxing lyrical about it ever since then on social media, in the comment section on videos, etc, etc And that is the amazing Monte Ray resort where they have a load of kind of self-catering luxury villa apartment i mean does anyone know the difference between a villa or an apartment if you could let me know in the comment section if there is one that'd be anyway despite not having that cleared up whether it's a villa or an apartment should, should we just go and have a look around oh Obviously most Algarve golf holidays are based on a bed and breakfast basis, but that is not all the Algarve has to offer. We have all-inclusive options as well, places like Sao Rafael Suites. Um, I know most of you guys will probably associate all-inclusive with places like Turkey and Morocco and whatnot, but it is on offer here in the Algarve. Similarly, you can also do self-catering. Now, you're probably looking around behind me thinking, where the hell is he? And I am actually at Monterey and the self-catering apartments here let's just do a quick little tour so if I wanted to get some food in from local local supermarket I've got a fully functioning kitchen and if I was coming here for a week I would definitely be doing that on the odd night it was a great way to save some money obviously this probably isn't the best example of places to be saving money because this is at the top top end of the Algarve spectrum but um, one bedroom Two bedrooms, this one's winning so far. Three bedrooms. No, I'll go for the double bed. Oh, ensuite. Oh. Yeah, you're ensuite too, cool. Yes, I am staying in this villa by myself tonight, which is a real treat. But going back to the self catering thing, um, and the fact that it can save you a bit of money, venues at the more, let's say, budget end of the spectrum such as Pestana Quavero, they have some self-catering villas, which we've stayed in years ago. Again, if you don't want to be having that expense every night of going out and eating dinner in restaurants, and you're not on the all-inclusive thing, self-catering can definitely be a great way of saving some pennies when you're out on your golf trip. 
as I said, obviously most hotel deals that we sell for the Algarve are on a bed and breakfast basis, but just be conscious that there are those three options. So don't just jump straight in for bed and breakfast. Have a little think. If you don't mind getting a bit of a cook on self-catering, great way of saving some money. If you like pigging out and drinking as much as you want without having to worry about putting your hand in your pocket, all inclusive is available. And of course, the bed and breakfast classics are here as well. Oh yeah, forgot to tell you guys. I am actually playing it tomorrow as well. <laughs> Finally. Very nice. I suppose it would be rude not to change into the Monterey shirt for this round of golf. Free course planner, yes please. This I'm not even going out on a limb to say this, is one of the most spectacular par threes I have ever seen. Right, it's only one, three, two yards. Uh, I've got a nine iron because, as you will have seen from those shots of the green, there is no prizes for coming up short. Um, wind off the left, down slightly as well. Basically, you just can't miss the screen. And it just goes to show that you just don't need to be having these massively long par threes. This is terrifying. It's just a little flick with a nine iron. Um, wish me luck. I think that's short. Yep. Right, just coming up onto the green and just look at this bunkering. Absolutely insane. Pin cut front right into this tiny little portion of the green. I was like kind of straight down it, managed to avoid this beast and just plopped on the island in between all these amazing sand traps. And now, well I haven't got much have I? If you have seen the East Algarve video, will know that I also visited the Quinta de Ria Resort to play the Quinta de Cima golf course. There's two courses there, and I also popped into Castro Marim. Both of those places have on site accommodation. So, again, if you don't want to shoot for the likes of Monte Rey, there are other options in the East Algarve, plenty of others that I didn't get to visit on this trip as well. And while all of these options that I'm mentioning are kind of like the resort setup, so hotel, golf courses, all on the same site, I'm sure there are plenty of charming hotels. Um, bed and breakfast, etc., etc., located in historic towns like Tavira, which is one of the main selling points of the Algarve, is these historic, traditional Portuguese towns that you're able to visit and explore. So, yeah, guys, hopefully this video gave you a little bit more of an insight into the accommodation options from the central Algarve out towards the east. Obviously, there are a ton more of them. I was only there for four days. Um, so I visited three different accommodation options and I have to say all of them were absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much to all three for having me. It was an absolute pleasure. 
uh, the lake resort. I will have to come back and see it when the sun is up because I'm sure it's absolutely spectacular. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video somewhat. It's a bit of a different direction to the usual ones. A little bit less golf, a little bit more accommodation. Hopefully it provided some sort of useful information for you guys to be taking to the Algarve on your next trip. And yeah, um, I will see you guys soon. We do have more action coming from the Algarve. So if you want to see that, as I said at the start of the video, make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell icon to get all the notifications, maybe chuck me a like, um, you know, uh, that would be nice. Um, yeah, see you guys soon.